Hi Taurus, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your week ahead. Taurus, this is going to be from the 2nd to the 8th of September and uh, Monday to Sunday, okay? And your major arcana, the major influence around you, wow, Taurus is the emperor. So somebody is going to be sitting on their throne, very, very in control of their own life, it seems. And how's that going to happen, spirit? Please give us one card for each day. Monday to Sunday for Taurus and a warm welcome back to all my subscribers Taurus and welcome in newcomers so spirit Monday to Sunday what should Taurus be prepared for what should they expect Empress Emperor Empress all right I think we've, we've said it all in these two cards but um, well in curiosity kills the cat so let's take some more uh, Tuesday spirit the fool okay Tuesday, Five of Swords, Seven of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, wow, and the Page of Cups, bottom of my deck, the Devil. Well, <clears throat> there is some something that you are, we will be starting something brand new. Maybe this is like you really want this and you know it's going to happen and you're really looking forward to something, taking a leap of faith into the unknown. Uh, in the middle, I do feel on Wednesday and Thursday, you may meet a bit of resistance. Um, there could be others around you who are not really supporting your new idea. I don't think you're going to bother. I really don't think you're going to bother. It's like, you know what, I'm the emperor, empress of my own life and I have this passion and I'm going for it. I'm going to give it my full heart, mind, body and soul and that's it. And the same people who were probably, you know, in your way in the past, on I mean, in the middle of the week, I think those same people are going to come back and say, hey, you know, sorry, we misjudged your intentions or your actions and we're sorry. Let's see. Uh, so the devil may try and stop you in the middle. Um, I have a feeling this time round you're going for exactly what you want and you're going to get it. All right. So, of course, I'll clarify these cards for you, Taurus. But first, let's take an affirmation for you. And let's see what you should be affirming to yourself to stand your ground and do what you want. Okay, spirit. Affirmation for Taurus, please. Affirmation for Taurus. And this card here, Taurus, says, Archangel Camuel. You get an angel. My heart is filled with a flame of love. Archangel Camuel works on the pink ray of love. And being blessed with this Archangel card indicates that you are ready to open your heart to unconditional love. Love has no restrictions and accepts all people as they are. Nor does it judge. True love is so powerful that it dissolves hurt, anger and separation. Let love flow from your heart and touch your loved ones, those you dislike and even strangers. This creates a bridge of light which the angels can move along to bring hope and peace. In return, your life will be blessed with and filled with love. See, that's exactly what I saw in the cards as well, right, Taurus? This is something, you're in your highest vibration this uh, upcoming week and you're like, Taurus is in their power. It's like, yes, you know, I am doing what I'm doing. If you don't like me, if you like me, I still am going to go ahead with what I want to do. I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to argue with you. But this is what I like to do or what I want to do. And I'm going for it. And like, like I said, it's going to dissolve all that hurt and anger of maybe others ar around you. Okay. Spirit, tell me what's happening uh, on Monday. What's the Empress card? What's the Empress card? Maybe there's been an idea that you've been wanting to start for a very long time. Queen of Pentacles, yeah, Empress, Queen of Pentacles, uh, somebody who's, um, I don't know, this is like you're sitting in very, very good energy. Maybe your money looks good or you're ready to birth a new idea, a new project and you've been maybe thinking about it for a long, long time. If that is so, Taurus, on Tuesday you're going to say, okay, I'm going for it. I'm going to take that risk. I'm going to take that leap of faith. Maybe after a lot of time of, you know, feeling stuck or thinking, you are now absolutely ready to take the plunge, uh, Taurus, um, you, because you have decided. This is like you're passing judgment on whatever this project or 
um, forward movement, whatever you've decided on, this is like, yes, I'm going to do it again because this is what makes me happy. This is what makes me happy. And I'm just, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I don't know what this is. I have no clue. It's a general reading, but this is something that you've been maybe waiting for a long time. Maybe you've had your eye on the prize for a long time. You've been secretly, it's like, you know, that uh, empress who they say is going about to birth something new so you've been sitting with that uh, thing in your stomach in your heart and feeling one day one day when it's the right time and it's the right time maybe you'll be building up your money or you know whatever yourself to be in a position where that one day you can do this new thing so then why the five of swords spirit for and the seven of wands for wednesday and thursday What's the when? Okay, Queen of Swords, Hide of Wand. Yeah, some people around you may be friends. They could be people who are, who have good intentions for you, but uh, according to them, they want to warn you about, you know, this is not, you know, this is not protocol or this is not in the rules and you don't, uh, you don't do this or you shouldn't do that or just be careful and, you know, even even our loved ones sometimes because they have the best intentions for us they try and try, try to warn you when you want to start something brand new or take a risk or something so there could be some resistance but you are going to be um, very very well overcoming it you will be standing up for yourself and i see you that like, you're not going to allow anyone to disrupt your plans anymore it's like the boundaries are up now yeah, I can hear you all. I, I respect what you're saying, but I'm still going to take the call. And you are taking the call on Friday, Ace of Wands. There is excitement in the air. You're ready to start this new thing of yours. And yes, I do see people, uh, the same people who were, uh, you know, trying to create chaos in your life. You may distance yourself maybe on the weekend, Friday and Saturday, because uh, I, I don't even want to hear any more. I'm, I'm listening to the divine. I'm listening to my inner calling. This is my heart says, my soul says that I'm ready for this and I'm going to do it. So you may kind of just retreat from these naysayers on Friday and Saturday and uh, Ace of Cups on Saturday spirit. And you're absolutely ready. By Saturday, you're absolutely ready to have a stable brand new beginning towards something which you really, really love. And it gives you that excitement as well. And then suddenly, a Taurus, people will be start seeing you in a different light. They'll be they'll start seeing you as somebody, wow, uh, that person actually did it. Taurus actually did it. And look at how well, I mean, look at them glowing. Uh, we want to be part of their baggage or something. But you will be, you will be seen. You will be admired. You will be um, respected. It's like people are going to start noticing you after you take that stance to do whatever this new thing is. It could be as small as you want to join some dance classes and your you know, sisters or your parents or your friends say, no, 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 it's a waste of time. Why are you wasting time? You should do pottery instead. And you say, no, this is what I want to do, right? And you go for it and then people say, wow, you know. She was always so graceful or he was also always such a good dancer. Now look at, look at the, you know, the aura around this person. They're such a good dancer. Suddenly the tune is going to change. So Sunday what happens then, Spirit? Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. The people will be seeing you in your highest vibration this week. That's all I can say. They will see you as a magician of your own life. Somebody who has the tools and is using them for their highest good. You will be in a happy place. Maybe even in the family, there will be a bit of a celebration on Sunday. Maybe the same people, like I said, who were your naysayers are going to be coming towards you with a hand of friendship or apology because they don't want to lose you. You know, if you stop talking to them or something, this, these same people are going to say, hey, you know, we're sorry, we're sorry, we miss you, we, we don't want to be left behind. And they will be congratulating you for having the strength for standing up for yourself. This, these people will be very inquisitive as well. And then they'll start asking questions. How did you? When did you? Can we also? Like the same people who were uh, naysayers can become curious fans of yours that's that's what i'm getting all right so that's what i have for you 
be mindful of these people who might be the little devil in your ear who might want to sabotage your new beginning but i don't think so the i think you'll be listening to your intuition why because the angels the spirit guides are going to be guiding you towards something that you know you know that you can see into the future you know this is something that you want you've been waiting for and now finally you can have it all right so that's what i have for you till next time then love and light take care namaste taurus